Physics is an inquiry into the world and the way it works. From the more basic, like why we are able to hear a sound of a piano, to the more complex, like how is this mobile phone function without wires. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all teachers and students all around Malaysia. I'm Cikgu Hasnita from SMK Baganjaya and this is Physics KSSM Form 4, Theme 1, Elementary Physics, Lesson Number 1. And for today, we are going to discuss the first learning area, Measurement. Our topics of discussion will be focused on the first subtopic 1.1, Physical Quantity. And also, I will give you some introduction to what physics is. So, are you ready to rock? Let's begin with the lesson. You might ask these questions to yourself. What is physics? Why is it important for us to learn physics? Does physics have anything to do with my life? My answer is yes. Do you know the word physics means? Physics is a Greek word, physica. It means anything related to the nature. So what is physics? Physics is a science discipline which study the properties of matter and energy. And not enough to that, in physics, we are also will study about the daily occurrences and the phenomena happen around us every day. So, what will we learn in physics? In physics, we are going to learn a lot of field. For example, we are going to study about motion, gravity, production of energy, and also to understand how is the phenomenon around us occur. For example, can you guess what is the name of the phenomena in this diagram? Why sometimes when we are driving our car in an afternoon, we can see there is a puddle of water appear at the road surface. Actually, this is some phenomena which is called as mirage. Mirage is a phenomenon which occur due to total internal reflection of light. How about the second diagram? This is what we call as a sea breeze and land breeze. Do you notice that when we are standing on a seashore at day, we can feel that the wind blew from the sea towards the land. But when we are standing on the same beach at night, the opposite things happen. At night, the wind will blow from the land towards the sea. Hmm. Why there is a difference between the direction of the wind blow at day and night? This phenomenon can be explained due to specific heat capacity when we are learning heat in the next chapter. How about the third diagram? Can you explain how the image of the surrounding can be appear inside the sphere ball? Actually, this is due to refraction of light. And there's a lot more we are going to discover soon, so you have to stay tuned with me in my channel. All right, students. So these are another example of fields we are going to discover soon in physics. They are lights, atoms, sound, heat, friction, gravity, electromagnetism, inertia, force, and also electricity. So, are you ready to begin with our content? So this is our topic of discussion for today, measurement. So under measurement, the first content standard will be on physical quantities. And there are four learning standards written for these physical quantities. And for today, we are going to focus on the first learning standard. So I hope that at the end of this video, you will be able to explain physical quantities. Measurement. Do you know what measurement means? Why do we need to measure? Is measurement important? Actually, measurement is a method which we are using to determine the value of a physical quantity. For example, you want to know the content of the water in a beaker, so you have to measure to know the volume. You want to know the weight of an elephant, so you have to measure to know the weights. You want to know what is the height of Mount Everest. 
so to know that we have to measure to find the height of Mount Everest. Do you know what is the instrument we are using to measure height of Mount Everest? Let's find the answer in the next part of these videos. Okay, so how do we do measurement? Actually, there are two ways we are doing measurement. The first one is called as a direct measurement. This type of measurement is done by using a measuring instrument. While the second type of measurement is called as indirect measurement. And this type of measurement is determined through calculation of formula, mathematical operations. Now, how about examples of direct and indirect measurement? Length, temperature, mass, time, electric current, potential difference, and many more. All this we can measure using an instrument. We measure length using meter rule. For example, temperature is determined by thermometer. Mass, we can measure using triple beam balance. Time, stopwatch to count. Electric current, we are using ammeter, while voltmeter is used to find the potential difference for voltage. Then how about example of indirect measurement? They are acceleration, period, resistance, momentum, work, efficiency, and many more. This kind of quantity, they are cannot be get direct from the activity or experiment we conducted in the lab, but we can find them by applying a certain formula. How about examples of measuring instrument? Can you name some of them? We have meter rule, measuring tape. They are used to measure length. Do you know another example of instrument we can use to measure length? Yes, we have vernier caliper and also micrometer screw gauge. Well, these are ammeter and voltmeter. And there is Borden gauge, an instrument which is used to measure pressure. Spring balance, used to measure weight. While down there is a triple beam balance to measure mass. And this is thermometer. Actually, we have a few types of thermometer. For example, we have rectal thermometer, which is used to determine a temperature of a baby, which is more, uh, which is less than two months old. And also we have clinical thermometer to measure human body temperature, laboratory thermometer in school, and also infrared thermometer, as you can see in this diagram. And the last but not least, stopwatch to measure time. All right, so we have known what measurement is and also we have looked at a few examples of measuring instrument. So now let's move to the gist of today's content, physical quantity. Do you have an idea what physical quantity is? Physical quantity is a quantity that can be measured, a measurable quantity. And this physical quantity, they are stated in a magnitude together with its corresponding unit. For example, 100 Joule. 100 is the magnitude and Joule is a unit for energy. 50 second. 50 is the magnitude while second is the unit for time. 80 kilometer per hour. 80 is the magnitude. Kilometer per hour is the unit for velocity. And these are another example of physical quantity. Mass, area, volume, time, speed, density, force, specific heat capacity, impulse, and many more. Then how about non-physical quantity? Non-physical quantity is a not measurable quantity. Can you think some non-physical quantity? I give you some example. They are taste, happiness, beauty. How do we measure taste, happiness, beauty? This food so tasty. That food is a bit tasty. That food is awful. Happiness. 
I am so happy. She is quite happy. He is not happy. So do beauty. All this quantity are very subjective to measure as different people has a different view on them. So we call them as a non-physical quantity. All right, students. So now let's do this activity one. I am going to give you four statements and in each statement you have to state the physical quantity, the magnitude and the unit involved for each. So are you ready? Let's check on the first statement. Look at that. Mount Everest. Beautiful, isn't it? The height of Mount Everest is 1,848 meter. So can you guess what is the physical quantity there? Very good. It is height. How about the magnitude? Yes, the magnitude is 1,849. While meter is a unit for height. Do you remember my question earlier? I asked you what is the name of the instrument we can use to measure height of Mount Everest? Well, the name of the instrument is altimeter. Have you ever seen altimeter? That is altimeter. Okay, now let's check on the second statement. Do you recognize the guy in the figure? That is our Paralympian, Muhammad Rizwan Muhammad Fuzi. Even though he is having a physical disabilities, but that is not a reason for him to reach victory. So this is a very good example for us to follow. Whatever our weaknesses or disabilities are, you never let them to bring us down. But we have to take an opportunity from that weaknesses or disability to reach victory in the future. Okay, so now let's back to our statement. Mohamed Rizwan Mohamed Puzi is a Malaysian Paralympian who created world record with a recorded time of 11.87 seconds in the 100 meter sprint event T36 category in the 2018 Asian Para Games. It's a quite long statement. So can you determine the physical quantity we have there? Actually, we have two. Yes, very good. The first one is time and the magnitude is 11.87. Second is the unit. How about the second quantity? Distance. What is the distance? 100 is the magnitude and meter is the unit for distance. Easy, right? Okay, now let's check on the next statement. Number three, the speed of light in vacuum is three times 10 to the power of eight meter per second. So the physical quantity is very good. It is speed and the magnitude three times 10 to the power of eight meter per second, the unit for speed. The last statement, number four, a thermometer which placed in a cup of hot coffee shows a reading of 75 degree Celsius. So our physical quantity is temperature. It's not a thermometer, don't get it wrong. Thermometer is the instrument we use to measure temperature. So temperature is the physical quantity, while the magnitude is 75 degrees Celsius is the unit. So what do you think about physical quantity? Easy, right? So if you like this lesson, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell as well. So you will be the first one who get the notification when I'm uploading my latest video on physics and also my live classes. So I hope that's all for today. Don't forget to join me again in the next lesson where we are going to continue with base quantity and derived quantity and also scalar and vector quantity. Till then, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum and see you soon. Belajar demi ilmu, fizik di hatiku.